Welcome to History Unmasked. The descendants of Abraham continue to fight ongoing disputes to this day. Even though Palestine has a complex genetic web, most people are unaware of the origin and ancient roots of the conflicts between Palestine and Israel. So, why is such conflict happening? Is it just a power havoc or genetic threat? In this video, we will thoroughly explore the origins and complexity of the conflicts between Palestinians and Israelis involving Jews and Arabs. But before that, remember to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's get started. On Saturday, October 7th local time, the armed Islamic extremist group Hamas conducted a surprise attack by bombarding Israel. This attack is considered one of the largest suffered by the country in recent years. When claiming this offensive, Hamas alleged that it was the beginning of a major operation aimed at reclaiming the territory. The conflict between Israel and Palestine is a complex mixture of political, religious, and, obviously, genetic kinship that unites these two people. This conflict has persisted for decades and has left a sad toll of thousands of injured and dead on both sides. On the 7th of this month, Hamas surprised by bombarding Israel, resulting in hundreds of casualties. This attack is considered by the Jews as one of the most significant faced by the country in recent years. Conflict. In 1947, the United Nations proposed the creation of two states in the British Mandate Palestine, one Jewish and one Arab. The proposal was accepted by Jewish leaders but rejected by the Arab side. Without resolving the issue, the British left, and the State of Israel was proclaimed by Jewish leaders. The following year sparked outrage among the Palestinians and resulted in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Amid various disputes over territories, the Six-Day War occurred in 1967, significantly altering the landscape in the region. After the victory, Israel forcibly took control of the West Bank and East Jerusalem. At the time, half a million Palestinians fled the region. Since then, the country has annexed East Jerusalem, where sacred sites for Christians, Jews, and Muslims are located and continue to occupy the West Bank. However, it withdrew from the Gaza Strip in 2005, which has been under the control of the Islamic movement Hamas since 2007. The resolution of the conflict still faces seemingly impossible disputes, such as Israel's security borders, the status of Jerusalem, and the right of return for Palestinian refugees who fled or were expelled from their lands. The conflict has resulted in several peace attempts, but few practical results have been achieved. Factors working behind the conflicts. Among the Palestinians' key demands is the cessation of the colonization of their territories, which include settlements encouraged by Israel. For example, 2017 data indicates that at least 600,000 Israeli settlers live in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. On the other hand, Israel demands recognition as a Jewish state, a demand rejected by the Palestinians, who fear compromising the right of return for refugees. The other factors, such as the delay in creating an independent Palestinian state and Israel's blockade of the Gaza Strip, also complicate the discussion. Both sides face domestic challenges that make any concessions difficult. It is essential to note that although it has exercised control over the region, the Palestinian National Authority has lost some of its credibility among Palestinians over the years. Now the question is, who are Palestinians? Ancestor of Palestinian. Palestinians have complex ancestry mixed with Ishmaelite, but a significant portion of Jewish origin. This is because in the past, many Jews converted to Islam in ancient times and adopted an Arab identity, forgetting their Jewish heritage. Therefore, the issue is more diverse than a simple division between Israelites, Arabs, and Jews. If we go back to history with the union of Hagar and Abraham, Ishmael was born. What many people may need to be aware of regarding Palestinians is that in addition to being descendants of Ishmael, they also have Jewish, Hagarin, and even some Edomite genetic ancestry. Various genetic studies have not only confirmed the relationship between Palestinians and Jews, but have also pointed to genetic connections between other groups in the Middle Eastern region, such as Lebanese, Syrians, Jordanians, Saudis, and Arabs. Previously, people used to say that Arabs and Jews were cousins, but in reality, they are more like genetic siblings. That's all for today. Do tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching.